traditional software engineering is dying. Now that anyone can code with AI, does this mean software engineers will become unemployed? Give me a few minutes and I'm going to show you how you can leverage the AI revolution to boost your salary, especially if you were coding long before ChatGPT disrupted the tech industry. But before we start, let's rewind the clock a bit. I was 14 and I really wanted to learn how to make interactive websites. Back then, Node.js didn't even exist yet, and PHP was the most popular language for web development. So I bought myself a thick programming book and spent hours reading it and rewriting code snippets into my code editor. My first code editor ever was Notepad++, and back then, I genuinely thought it was amazing. Syntax highlighting was awesome, but the code completion didn't work that well. So it means I made tons of mistakes, and every single one of them costed me hours of frustration and debugging. Fast forward to today and things couldn't look more different. Now, thanks to AI tools like Cursor AI and Cloud, coding seems completely automated. Struggling with syntax? Gone. And less boilerplate code? Generated faster than you can brew your coffee. Resting with frameworks? Also gone. AI handles so many parts of programming that it makes people without computer skills believe they can build entire web apps on their own. In other words, we are witnessing the end of traditional software engineering. Our roles as software engineers are rapidly shifting, but if you believe that AI is about to replace also experienced programmers, let's look what is really happening here, because there is a critical catch. Within the next few years, we will see a huge wave of developers who never written a single line of code without AI assistance. Nearly half of new developers will be AI native. Many of these newcomers will never master a programming language in a traditional sense. They could be programming language illiterate, but be efficient to some sort of degree in a very high level systems. But here is the thing, Vibe coders might be productive in many ways, Senior programmers have skills that AI can't replicate, and debugging is one of those skills. And I don't mean debugging a React component that has 200 lines of HTML, but debugging a complex systems. It requires deep intuition, experience, and creativity, traits that AI can't simply mock. Another aspect is that building reliable and long-term support software can't be automated by AI. It demands understanding a subtle nuances of programming languages, edge cases, and making trade-offs. Experienced software engineers know that software isn't about code. It's about maintaining it, scaling it up, ensuring that everything was stable and secure over years or even decades. That's why software engineers are crucial when it comes to innovation. LLMs, for all their impressive capabilities, can only generate solutions and based on patterns they already have seen. They are great at remixing existing ideas, but can't truly invent anything new. Human engineers with all their creativity and deep understanding of technology will remain irreplaceable for pushing boundaries and building truly groundbreaking software. That's why it is essential to understand that you have the leverage, skills and intuition you developed through years of your career. I believe we are living in the best times to be senior software engineers, because thanks to AI, we'll be able to boost our salaries even more than now. So let me show you what do I mean by that and what are the next opportunities for seasoned software engineers. First, to take advantage of this opportunity, you will need to master some sort of domain. The deep understanding of specific industries and real-world problems is about to become far more valuable than your programming language. Why? AI is amazing at generating code, but it can't independently reason about it. AI needs clear guidance and deep context to produce meaningful code. Let's assume you want to build a fraud detection system. You ask Cursor AI to generate it for you, and then you have 100% chance it won't be working. Why? because AI is bad in solving deep problems. Fraud detection systems are complex. Their code bases exceed 100,000 lines of code. So there is no way that a random Andy from Twitter can vibe code it. 
Another thing is that senior software engineers will play a critical role in leading AI assistant development teams. As more AI native engineers enter the workforce, they will need mentors who can guide them through complex problems, debugging, and long-term software maintenance. Your experience will give you a unique opportunity to create the bridge between leadership and coding, coordinating and mentoring new team members to deliver high-quality software. The most exciting part is that this shift will likely widen the income gap in software engineering. Companies will reward software engineers with technical skills and domain expertise. It means you might end up doubling or even tripling your salary in the next few years. But you need to play it right. So let me show you how you can do that. You need to do only two things to stay ahead. The first one is level up your game. AI can generate code, but it can't create an entire system. This is where you can shine, but you need to deepen your knowledge of system design, scalability, long-term maintainability. It would be great if you dip your toes into DevOps and learn how to ship apps to AWS. You want to become as technically versatile as possible. Don't forget that you leverage this in ability to see the big picture through technical skills and domain expertise that will make you indispensable. That's why you need to develop a domain expertise your industry-specific knowledge, which is about to become your biggest competitive advantage. Cursor AI and ChatGPT require an accurate and detailed context to produce output. Your deep understanding of specific problems and industries is exactly the context ChatGPT needs. What do you need to do is double down on learning those industry nuances and pain points. Speak with stakeholders and end users to learn about the business. The better you understand the domain, the more effectively you will be able to guide AI tools if you need them. By mastering those two areas, you will position yourself as a true software engineer in the AI-powered future. You will not only protect your career, but you will boost your earning potential, and that's why you should watch my next video, and I will show you how I grew my career and managed to save $191,000 last year. And I did it all working as a software engineer. I don't have any rental properties. I don't own any business. I stay away from indie hacking. So see you there.